resident. Well, yesterday we bought some paint. Um, we got some of the Oops paint yeah. at Home Depot, nine dollars a gallon, <laughs> and uh, looks like it should do pretty well. So we're hopeful on that. Yeah, um, we will paint this yep. wall yellow. Yeah. All this nice fall will become yellow. white yellow mm -hmm. and inside of the bathroom kind of uh, pink, right? Yeah, afraid so. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. That's what we got. And uh um yeah, then we'll paint the ceiling and all that, but for right now we have to finish mudding and sanding. Right. Which is kind of the unglamorous part. And hopefully this. we paint in the weekend. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Our target is to paint on the weekend. So yeah. uh, so now we'll get to work sanding. We made some progress in the hallway back here where there was some additional paneling that had to get removed. And the corners and everything, it looked kind of bad. But uh, we've mudded it up pretty well. And uh, so now we're just going through and doing some final touches on the mud and a lot of sanding. I'm trying to get the walls nice and flat so they'll accept some paint. And as we can see here, the owner, Hamid, has put a sample of the color on the wall that we're going to use. And it is just spot on perfect. Um, that's, that's oops paint that we got for $9 a gallon. It just happened to be on sale at Home Depot. So hopefully when we run out, we can match it and, and get some more, but that should do about half the room, I think. So it looks like it's going to be nice. We just got a lot more sanding to do. Hey, wait, I don't mind you coming here. That's what it is. And wasting all my time. Because when you're standing oh so near, I kind of lose my mind, yeah. It's not the perfume that you wear. It's not the ribbon in your hair. I don't mind you coming here and wasting all my time. Okay, so I'm not really doing this whole project by myself. Uh, that's movie magic. It just looks that way because I'm the only person that you ever see on the video. But in reality, many hands have made light work. And if you can see the, the patch that we put on the ceiling up there before, it was not well blended into the ceiling. Um, it was a tough, it was a big hole. We had to cut a rectangle and shim it in there and everything. But you can see now, um, you know, with uh, the benefit of some artistic intervention, it's really blended nicely, very nicely into the ceiling. So I think once that dries and it gets primed and painted, it's gonna be, uh, virtually unnoticeable so we're very happy with that and delighted to be doing more sanding we've done some mudding today we've done some sanding we've done some trim patched a hole in the ceiling well it was already patched but uh, beautified the patch uh, on the ceiling very nicely and uh, so now it's time for the daily ritual foot massage uh, sealing the mud bucket. So this is a, this is our joint compound bucket. We're going to keep it dry by making sure the top is on nice and firm. And yeah, that is kind of therapeutic. It's good. It's nice. And that's it for tonight. <laughs>